seems like you guys have for about a month now and change. Obviously, it's not going to get it all back given how long his layoff was in that time. But what, what have you seen from him since you first got him back to where it was tonight? It, it's continued to learn how he can impact the, the game. Uh, he can do it in a number of ways, whether it was the crucial three that he had, uh, a corner th uh, top of the key three that he had for us, whether it's uh, getting to the rim and, and drawing a foul. Uh, I think he's learning how to play with Kevin and Kai. Um, he's typically been the first sub, so he's learning also how to play with the second group as well. Uh, overall, we're just trying to get him more comfortable with the idea of he's going to be able to help us in a lot of ways down the stretch into the playoffs. Jacques, specific to Kyrie, you've been around him a few years now. What is it that allows him to be as cold as he was earlier? Yeah. Miss, 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 and then when you need him the most, knock down two of the big shots. He just has a, a, a way of embracing that moment and uh, no matter what happened previously. Um, and for Kevin to, you know, kick that ball out to him when Kevin kind of had an iso at the elbow um, shows, you know, how they've grown together. Uh, but he has a, a unbelievable ability to erase what happened before and be in the moment and take, take full advantage of that moment and shine. How yeah. Kyrie sneaking up on anybody or are teams treating him any differently or have they defended him any differently the last few games than they had? Well, I think overall trying to be more physical with him. Uh, Alvarado is really good at getting underneath you and, and making you work full court. Um, we had some good looks early that just didn't go for us. But uh, we, we got two guys on this team who can get to their spots and, and get shots. So full confidence that uh, they'll shoot better next game. But uh, overall, man, our, our will tonight to, to win, to enjoy being in the moment. And we talked about that at the six-minute mark. Enjoy being in this more, moment, somebody else's floor. Uh, and those guys embrace it with a win. And for Royce O'Neal, you mentioned about how so special both into the floor a lot of things don't um, show in the box floor but to see him knock down those four threes and to still have that confidence to take those shots what did you just see from him stay the course and uh, uh for him i think it just shows my relationship with him his relationship with the team uh they believe in royce big three in transition uh they lost him knocked down uh, and I think that's how you grow with your group, is you continue to show belief in them. And uh, Royce answered. Jacques, during that drought early in the fourth quarter, you guys had a couple of possessions where it was kind of a difficult thing, where maybe you just chuck up a shot instead of running something. I mean, you guys have been so good in isolation this year. Yeah. I, I guess, how do you kind of reconcile with maybe not getting the most out of that possession, but also the, the track record maybe? Benefit, you know, yeah. Yeah. So a, a lot of times, Alex, it's going to boil down to what the defense is doing. So they were playing straight up. Uh, the the times that they did double, we took advantage of it. Got a corner three from it, two corner threes from it easily. Uh, so playing straight up. A lot of times, we're just going to keep things simple and give it to Kai and Kevin. I'm just going to be honest with you. We don't turn it over. We get a shot in that possession, and those dudes are pretty darn good at getting the shot and a lot of times making it. And um, we're going to make the defense react. When they don't react, full confidence that you know, one on one basketball is good. 26 assists on 37 uh, makes, I think, somewhere around there. So decent balance for us. But uh, those two dudes are special at scoring. Other than the game where you took out hurt, since you take over, I mean, he had, we're not used to seeing him play single digit. Yeah. Minutes. Uh, last two games. Yeah. He did. Is there any particular reason? No, that's where Brian, that's where that challenge of having a lot of guys who can play. So TJ kind of got the nod tonight, got it rolling a little bit, extended him. Uh, then you had Seth the other night, kind of got extended a little bit, took away from Utah's minutes. So we got that balance, which is good of having Utah, Royce, Joe, Seth, TJ, uh, who's going to be most consistent on a nightly basis will end up getting those minutes. Uh, but tonight, we're just trying to get a feel of who, who could help. Chuck, the bigger picture, when we look at weeks ago, the conversation was about other teams playing big and going up against you guys. You guys have now, at this point, constantly kind of silenced that conversation. How would you say your team has kind of put that in the past? And would you say that that's not even something that a big part of rebounding is mentality. Whether you want to hit, whether you want to be in, involved in a, in a scrum, whether you want to uh, deliver a, bro, a blow to someone, uh, 
we are trending towards hitting first and making contact and being okay with that contact. And as a group, we, if we want to get to where we want to, then it's going to be a necessity on a nightly basis. I think we've taken that challenge. Uh, we brought it to the attention of the group, and they've responded. Uh, that's what we all we talked about. The last four-minute huddle was each time you have to hit somebody. And uh, our group's enjoying hitting somebody. Yeah. How many streamers have you spelled about? Yeah, I think overall we were really aggressive uh, the second half, uh, especially the last six minutes of the game. Uh, our ability to contest shots at the rim, nothing was easy. Uh, no walk-up transition threes that we gave up earlier in the game. Uh, we made them play in the half court. Earlier they were playing with their pace, very fast, uh, getting early shots before we were able to get settled. I think we started dictating in the second half, especially the last five minutes of the game, and got stops that way. Okay, thanks, Jamie. Okay. And yay.